Hello miners. Um the reason why I call you miners is because this server is called mine in. Anyway, um now I'll show you my automatic um bookcase crafter. I haven't made sure that it actually works yet, but we will see. I remade my previous model into this tiny little thing. So, let's see how it works. Obviously, you need a reed farm. And I have one set up down here. Oh. And that's always some reeds. You just don't want to take the swim. But yeah, the, these pistons are all connected to the timer with a red power 2 repeater that makes the redstone signal, well red power signal, redstone signal, whatever, emits like some seconds longer than it would without it. And if I wouldn't use it, it would just look stupid and I'm not sure. Um, not sure if all the reeds would fall in the water. I think the longer signal I have, the more chance of all the reeds falling into the water. But I can't really bother putting it on max. Anyway, so that's the reed farm. Falls hopefully falls through the down the water into the obsidian pipe down there. Hope you can see that. I hope this isn't, isn't too dark again. Let's put up some torches just in case. Yeah, and let's lag some as well. That was the pistons getting activated, and there's some reed. Oh, let's put some, some torches here as well. Why not? Yeah, that was my tree farm. I haven't dismantled it yet. Guess I'm too lazy. But let's get back up again. Back to the spawn and into my place. So, as you saw, the reed, reed is made down there. Goes up this pipe into the transposer that luckily didn't suck down the third pipe up. Oh, look, here's some reed to demonstrate. Goes here up there, doesn't interfere with the bullcraft pipes here, um, that would be kind of sad if it did, but I will put up some um, red power 2 covers, which does work with the pipes, you can put them like that, I think you can even put bigger panels, I think these are called, right next to it like that, not sure how this will work, I mean, it would be kind of stupid if you made it like that and items could still pass through it. Maybe it can. Let's see. Sit and wait for... Let's not sit and wait for another read. Let's just throw an item there. Go on. Okay, apparently it does work. Um, fine, let's leave it like that. No, let's not. I'm going to use dirt covers or something else down here. I hate tight spaces, but um, this will have to do for now. So basically, what I got here are uh, one main chest where the reed goes, goes in, and I make paper. The paper turns into books. The books turns into oh wait. Hmm. Did I make one too many now? Paper, book, bookcase. Yes, I did. Oh, I could just remove this one then. But let's keep it for the looks of it. Um, yeah, basically that's it. Um, the paper goes down here, as you can see, into the teleport pipes. Pipe and into this teleport pipe, 
down to the chest. It should go down here. Not sure if we can see that. Well, basically, up and down, up and down, up and down until it's a bookcase. The only thing I have to add here is wooden planks. Uh, I could just. Why not? Do like that. Yeah, like that. And we should get some wooden planks right now. Let's see. 41, yeah. Okay. See, I just improved my system. So all I have to do is throw in some wooden logs, and that's it. I could plug in my tree farm to the system as well, but I would get too much wood, I think. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's take the dirt out. And basically that was it. And the reason why I want to make the cases here. I'll show you in a bit. My inventory got a lot of stuff in it. I was supposed to make some lights, but anyway. God, do I hate when that happens. Run over here into the unloaded chunk. Let's see, 64 book sizes, bookcases, 200. Yeah, I'm a millionaire. I'm not going to do slash money to let me see how much money I have. Um, I do have a fat amount though. But thanks for watching, and I'll probably be back with another video shortly.